Hey guys, I'm back with a super cool pickup, I think anyway. It's a 1937 proof set, and I'm very excited about this. The uh, mintage figure on this set was approximately 5,500 sets in 1937, which was the second lowest production of any year in the modern era, which means after 1936. The men actually started producing proof sets in 1858. Uh, before that, you could buy individual proof coins, but they weren't offered in a complete set. They made those until uh, 1916 and then stopped, probably due to the First World War, I'm not sure. But then the mint resumed production uh, 20 years later in 1936. So this proof set is the second year of modern era production and the last year of the buffalo nickel by the way which to me is super cool and to get some perspective on how low this 5500 production figure is in 1957 the mint made 1.25 million sets i just think that's amazing there was a little over 5000 of these made and just a, a few years later they made 1.25 million in 1957. That's just uh, amazing to me. So have a good look at these coins because I'm going to uh, submit them for authentication and later we'll get to uh, guess the grade together. And uh, anyway, this the half dollar seems like a very weak strike to me. I mean, this, the rays coming out of the sun seems so weak. So I had some question, you know, right away I think the thing's fake, because everything I have is fake. Uh, the dime's got a little tone there. I love that nickel. And look at that uh, typewritten uh, label up there. I love that on the, uh, on the holder. So this was probably uh, last looked at probably in the late 70s. I'm not sure. But all the coins look super nice. It's just that half dollar that... Uh, I have some question. It's it's tone. It's got some black tone, which is not super cool to me. But uh, I, I read that these these early uh, half dollars proofs had weak strikes, so hopefully <laughs> that's all it is, and that it's a uh, a real coin. But anyway, uh, it's all the other coins look very nice. But look at that thirty-seven proof set gem. We'll see if it's a gem, huh? <laughs> coming up anyway through the magic of youtube can you believe it i've sent the coins to pcgs they've been graded and sent back <laughs> in the blink of an eye is that instant gratification or what guys i can't believe it anyway we're gonna uh open these up all right while i'm opening this box i want to talk a little bit about the purchase of this set I bought this from a woman who advertised it as belonging to her deceased father. So I sent her an email asking if there was anything interesting about her father that might add a little color or history to these coins. The seller told me, among other things, her father was a surgeon and that also he was a follower of Howard Ruff. Now most of you have probably heard of him, but for those who haven't, Howard Ruff was a financial advisor. He was very popular in the late 70s, early 80s when the economy was a wreck. And here comes this big time gloom and doomer, Howard Ruff, who was preaching to everyone that uh, the economy was right on the verge of hyperinflation and total collapse, which sounded reasonable at that time. He advised people to invest in hard assets like gold, silver, platinum, uh, all high-end collectibles, things like fine art, numismatic items, coins. He had a syndicated TV show called The Rough House. He wrote many financial books. One of them was this book, How to Prosper During the Coming Bad Years. And that book was a number one bestseller, sold three million copies. People called him the prophet of doom. He also had a newsletter called The Rough Times. I mean, this guy was very popular. He was also a big-time prepper in his day. He was a very interesting character, and he just recently passed away. I think he was in his uh, 
mid 80s so i want to give you a little sound clip of the prophet of doom himself i think this is part of uh, his audio newsletter i'm not sure but he was obviously up there in age when he recorded this so here you go howard ruff this is Howard with the rough times of June 5th, 2009. The markets. I've recommended gold and silver for a few years. Only a few of my subscribers will take my advice. You're brainwashed by Wall Street despite the general collapse of his institutions. But the few who take my advice and buy the metals will someday stand alone as survivors. We're not just talking about profit, although profit will be made. We're talking about actual survival of all your assets and wealth. Now is not the time to buy paper. All paper is someone's promise that supposedly represents something tangible. If you want the real thing, you'll buy gold and silver coins and bullion. There are no one's promise and no one can take it from you except at the point of a gun. Buy precious metals and tangible commodities. When I do speaking engagements, the brokers in the audience won't like what I have to say. Wall Street never approved of me, but I'm still here, and most of them have left the brokerage business. I will go out in a blaze of glory and bet my future with less of it left. But I'm right. All you need to make money is guts. And that ends the rough times for this date. I'll be talking to you again in three weeks. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, have a look and see what what we've got here. We'll start with oh the half dollar. Let's see. Can you get a good look at that? Pretty nice. See, I told you it's really weak. See down here at the. You can hardly see. Look at the rays. You can barely see the rays. Now, I'm not hoping for anything high on these. I just want to make sure they're real. And uh, and they're not really toned or anything really special. So uh, they're probably just going to be mid to average 60s, I think. But, you know, my track record horrible. All right, let's have a look and see what they give in my 37 proof half dollar. PR, whoa! Whoa! You gotta be kidding me! Sixty seven? As you can tell, I'm a little speechless. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. With a week, I guess it's not that week. That, wow. I am shocked. That's super, super fantastic. For me. <laughs> can you tell I'm excited? I can't believe that. 67 ah oh. and that's the one I was worried about I didn't think this thing would oh my gosh I'm happy all right that's fantastic way to start <laughs> let's uh, try the next one all right here's the quarter Wow, I'm shocked. Quarter looks nice. What do you guess? Well, I tell you, I just, there's just no way for me to guess these. I mean, I don't see any scratches or anything, but it's a proof coin. It better be nice. All right, let's see what this thing goes. 66. That's that's reasonable. I guess that, you know, that looks nice. I mean, that looks like 66 to me. 
66, 65, you know, I, I have to be toned or something special to me to get higher. Hmm. I'm happy with that. Let's see what's next. I get my dime, my little toned dime. My Merc. Let's drop this down a little bit. Sorry. Alright, how's this look? This one has a little brown, little toning there. But it's just black, you know, I'm not really crazy about just black toning. But anyway, it looks good. I don't see anything wrong with it, so let's try again. 66 would be perfectly fine for me. There you go. 66. Sorry, guys, I didn't have that thing in view. Alright, that's, that's fine. Beautiful. The typewriter said they were gems, so the guy's so far so good. Okay. Now comes the nickel, the buffalo nickel. This is a nice looking coin. Isn't that nice? Gosh, it's, it's a little bit toned, you know, a little gunmetal gray like they get. I really like that. Look at that. It kind of gets like purple, kind of purplish. This is a nice coin. It's got a good strike. It's super clean. I like this. You know, I mean, I expect this to get pretty good. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what it gets. Yeah, 67. Oh, this is a nice coin. Oh, I'm happy. Super nice coin. Now that one I can understand. A 67. Wow, that's great. All right, we got one more left. One more, the penny. And this looks really good too. You know, I don't see any marks on it. And a little black dot there, you can see that above the 37 but uh, beautiful coin I mean it's not all super brown or marked up I mean it does have a little bit of uh, on the on the states in America you can see it's a little bit darker starting to turn a little brown but for the most part it's a red scent okay let's see we gonna get another 66 red 66 red that's nice it is red beautiful they were all gem just like uh the old typewriter said fabulous i'm super happy this is a great great set anyway thanks for bearing with me guys i know this was really long but i hope you like that and uh Thanks for watching.